Hello Grade 7 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you how to solve word problems involving conversion of units. This is week 2 summative like word problems. First problem. One mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. How many miles long is 20 kilometer race? So this problem is asking for us to convert 20 kilometer to miles. Now we will be using the conversion factor that involves kilometer and mile. So the conversion factor that we are going to use is one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometer. Now we have to write the given 20 kilometer times the conversion factor. Since the required unit is in terms of mile, the unit mile will be in the numerator and the unit kilometer is in the denominator. So, the unit kilometer will be cancelled out. And the remaining unit is mile. Then, we have to multiply. 20 times 1 is 20. Then, we have to copy the unit mile over the denominator is 1.6. Now, let's simplify. 20 divided by 1.6, that is equal to 12.5 miles. Therefore, 20 kilometers is just equal to 12.5 miles. Next. The distance from Barangay A to Barangay B is approximately 12 miles. Express this distance in kilometers. This problem is almost similar with problem number 1. The only difference is in problem number 2, we are asked to convert 12 miles to kilometers. So the conversion factor that we are going to use is the same conversion factor that we use in number 1. 1 mile is equal to 1.6. Now we have to write the given 12 miles times the conversion factor. But this time, the numerator is 1.6 kilometer. Why 1.6 kilometer? Because the desired unit is in terms of kilometer. And our denominator is 1 mile. Always remember that the desired unit is in the numerator. In number one, the desired unit is mile. That's why one mile is in the numerator. In number two, the desired unit is in terms of kilometer. That is why 1.6 kilometer is in the numerator. Now we will simplify. Uh, but before we will simplify, we have to cancel out the common unit, mile and mile. So we have now the remaining unit of kilometer so 12 times 1.6 that is equal to 19.2 and since the denominator is 1 so no need to divide by 1 because any number divided by 1 is equal to the number and the unit now is kilometer therefore 12 miles is equal to 19.2 kilometers Let's have the third example. Lisa's house is 400,000 meters away from Davao City. How far is this distance in kilometers? Okay. First, we will be using the conversion factor that involves meters in kilometer. So we have a conversion factor. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Write first the given 400,000 meters. So we have here 400,000 meters multiplied by the conversion factor. Again, the desired unit is always in the numerator. So we have here conversion factor 1 kilometer over 1,000 meter. Next, cancel out the common factor. I mean common unit. So we have now 
400,000 times 1 is 400,000. In our denominator, we still have here 1,000. Simplify. 400,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 400. And the remaining unit that we have is in terms of kilometers. Therefore, 400,000 meters is just equal to 400 kilometers. For example, what is 35 degrees Celsius converted to Fahrenheit? The formula that we will be using to convert degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit is degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 times degrees Celsius plus 32. Now we will substitute. Just copy 9 over 5. The value for degrees Celsius is 35 given on the problem. That's why we have here 35. Bring down plus 32. Now simplify. 9 times 35, that is 350. Divided by 5. Just copy the denominator. Bring down plus 32. Again, how did we get 315? 9 times 35 is 315. Then, bring down 5 in the denominator plus 32. Simplify further. 315 divided by 5 is equal to 63. Bring down 32. Now, we'll add 63 plus 32. That is equal to 95. Therefore, it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, 35 degrees Celsius is just equal to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's have the fifth problem. A car left the house and traveled at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. How many minutes will it take the car to reach the airport, which is 30 kilometers away from the house? Okay, our problem here involves the average speed as well as the distance traveled. And the problem is asking for the number of minutes, meaning time. By formula, average speed is equal to distance over time. But our problem here is asking for time. So, from this formula, we can derive another formula which is time is equal to distance over average speed. Where did we get this formula? This is coming from this formula. We just derive it. So we have now time is equal to the distance traveled over the average speed. Now let's substitute. So time is equal to the average speed is 40 kilometers per hour. It should be in the denominator. And the distance, which is 30 kilometers, is in the numerator. Now we can cancel out the common unit. Okay. So the remaining unit is only R. So 30 over 40 R. So 30 divided by 40 is 0 0.75 R. Okay. And this 0.75 R is the time to travel from the house to the airport. But the question here is in terms of minutes. The question is asking for how many minutes. So therefore, this 0.75 hour will be converted to minutes. So we will be using another conversion factor. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, so convert 0.75 hour to minute. So we have 0.75 hour times. Again, the desired unit will be in the numerator. So since we're going to convert hour to minute, the unit 
minute will be in the numerator from this conversion factor. So we can cancel out the common unit, RR, and the remaining unit is minute. Now, let's multiply. 0 0.75 times 60 divided by 1 is equal to 45. And the unit is in terms of minutes. So therefore, it will take 45 minutes for the car to reach the airport. Next problem. Mark mixes one half cup of fertilizer with soil before planting each bulb. How many fluid ounces of fertilizer does he use per bulb? Remember that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. Okay, we have to convert one half cup to fluid ounces. We will be using this conversion factor. So we have to write one half cup times. Since the desired unit is fluid ounces, the fluid ounces will be in the numerator over one cup. So we can cancel out now the common unit. And the remaining unit now is in terms of fluid ounces. Now let's simplify. So since we have here a fraction, we will multiply numerator by numerator. So 1 times 8 is 8, then 2 times 1 is 2. Simplify further. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And the unit that we have now is in terms of fluid ohms. Therefore, Mark uses 4 fluid ohms of fertilizer per bulb. Next problem. Rika purchased a bag of oranges that weigh 3 kilograms. She removed one juicy orange with a weight of 160 grams from the bag. How many grams of oranges are still in the bag? Okay. So, we cannot subtract right away if the units are not the same. So, we have to convert first 3 kilograms to grams. Okay, so the first conversion factor that we will be using is 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 gram. So we have to convert 3 kilograms to grams. Write first 3 kilograms and the desired unit is in terms of grams. So it will be in the numerator over 1 kilogram. So the kilogram unit will be cancelled out. And we have only the unit gram. Now let's simplify. 3 times 1,000 over 1 is equal to 3,000. And the unit is already grams. So therefore, 3 kilogram is equal to 3,000 grams. Since Rika removed one juicy orange with a weight of 160 grams, so we have to subtract. 3,000 grams, the total weight of oranges inside the bag in terms of grams, minus 160. We need to subtract 160 because the problem is saying that Rika remove one juicy orange with a weight of 160 grams. So since she removed, we have to subtract. So 3,000 grams minus 160 grams, that is equal to 2,840 grams. So therefore, there are 2,840 grams of oranges that are still in the bag. Last problem. Jade and John go hiking. Jade brings 9 over 10 liter of water. Jan brings 600 milliliters of water. How many more milliliters of water did Jade bring than Jan? Okay, this problem we cannot 
subtract it right away because the units are not the same. So we have to convert first 9 over 10 liter to milliliter. So we have to use the conversion factor of 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml or 1000 milliliter. Okay, we have here 9 over 10 liter times the desired unit is milliliter, so it will be in the numerator. 1,000 milliliter over 1 liter. Now, cancel out the common unit. So, the remaining unit now is in terms of milliliter. Simplify. 9 times 1,000 is 9,000. Then, 10 times 1 is 10. The unit now is in terms of milliliter. Simplify further. 9,000 divided by 10 is equal to 900 ml. Therefore, the equivalent of water that Jade brings is 900 ml. Now we have to subtract. Since John brings 600 milliliters of water, so we have to subtract 900, 900 milliliter, the water that was brought by Jade, and 600, the water that was brought by Jan. And that is equal to 300 milliliter. Therefore, Jade brings 300 milliliter of water more than Jan. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Kindly like, and if you have questions or clarifications regarding the video, Kindly comment it in the comment box. Kindly share to other students, especially to the grade 7 learners, for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. That's all for today and God bless you all.